What do you do when you fall off the horse? You get back on. Last Gungeon episode screwed ourselves out of a chance to unlock the Gunslinger. I apologize, I'm a little hoarse. I had a long stream today and then I, you know, it's Mother's Day. I called mom up, I say, hey mom, what's going on? We talked for 78 minutes. Now here I am playing some Gungeon. We got the Anne villain and the robot's right hand. Is it for balance reasons? But it's also a skeleton. Um, for balance reasons, do they always give you a gun with infinite ammo? As one of your two guns is the paradox? That's interesting. I mean, and also very sensible, of course. But that would explain the, the unlikely scenario behind us getting uh, the betrayer... Betrayal? But the Excalibur? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, twice in a row. Anyway. Look, it's painful to recognize, but, you know, we screwed up the last run because of our own fault. And uh, as much as it is annoying, that, and I think there's a valid concern that Gungeon, maybe some of the secret stuff, is uh, a little too precious to get to. There is also, like, a certain reality to the situation, which is that, you know, I should have known because I had done it before. So rather than complain, we should just be more vigilant this time. How about that? Anyway, it's, uh, you know, late Sunday afternoon. Depends when afternoon rolls over for you. It's 5.40 p.m. That's afternoon for me. I think that for me, the evening starts at around 7. And that's changed for me as I've gotten... Well, not as I've gotten older, but as I moved out of my parents' house, basically. My parents, uh, they always eat dinner. When I was uh, in high school, they ate dinner at 6. They're a little bit older now. They eat it at around 5.30. Sometimes 5. What are you, a cop? Who's asking? What, is it legal to have an early dinner now? So I was always like, you know... After dinner is when the evening begins. So I was like, dinner at 6... The evening starts at like 6.30. My personal thinking now, I eat dinner a little later sometimes. I mean, sometimes Kate and I, you know, we'll eat dinner at, at 10 or 11 p.m. Not commonly anymore. Our sleep schedules are pretty good. But uh, sometimes we'll eat at uh, 10 or 11 if, you know, our meal prep uh, meal takes 45 minutes to make even though we bought it because it's supposed to be convenient. Either way, it's, for me, evenings like, you know, 7 p.m. is the start of the evening. My, my two cents. That's it, like, if I was invited to a social function as an adult and uh, they were like, it starts at 5, I would be like, whoa, dude, that's a little early. But everybody's got different, you know, it's the same. Sometimes I eat lunch at like 2 p.m. and people are like, lunch. So wouldn't you call that more of an afternoon tea session? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. Wow, this is a bit of a bummer couple of chests here, but we will go to the oubliette pretty much no matter what. Um, I'll, I mean, I'll level with you in high school. You know when we ate lunch in high school? Our scholastically defined lunchtime... Don't, sh don't shoot the water barrel, please. Our scholastically defined lunchtime was uh, 11 a.m. I'm not complaining, because, you know, you're up at 6.30 to get to school, you know? And, you know, who doesn't like a, an early lunchtime? It gives you a nice break in the middle of the day. Um, and, I mean, to be fair, you're also out of school. At, like, you know, we were out at 2.30. But still, an 11 a.m. lunchtime seems crazy to me now. Not just because I, uh, you know, I wake up a little bit later. I mean, I don't. I feel like either gun is completely okay here, but I'm gonna utilize Austin's fabled gun forcing strategy. If you don't pick up a gun before you fight the boss, you're guaranteed to get a gun from the boss. Whereas if you don't, or if you do pick up a gun before the boss, it's 50 50 whether you're gonna get a gun or a passive item. And as I've been told from the command in Austin's chat, Austin has no respect for passive items. Which leads me to believe that I probably shouldn't as well, but I like him because of the soft synergies. And dude, let's be honest, Anvil and just made really short work of that. So we got SAA. 
Yeah, I mean, it's probably an adequate room clearer for the next floor. And we're going to buy a key, presumably. Uh, and we should use a blank. We looked for secret rooms, just for the record, but... Let's try, like, here, I guess. I, l I look... There's a couple of rooms I look for. And we're gonna open one. Yo, Table Tech Sight? I don't love it. But I, you know, I thought to myself, self... Ammo. Um, we probably should have taken it for the anvil, but... I thought to myself, uh, self... Have I lost my mind? <laughs> Where the... Did I, oh, maybe I didn't access the secret room. Um, I just tipped the water barrel over. Uh, I, I heard a little voice in my head, which was like, Hey, you know, the passives and actives out of brown chest tend to be pretty good, so why not give it a try? Yeah, we didn't activate the secret room. It's right there. I swear to God, if this ends up housing the secret room, maybe it can't. I don't know. Whatever. Secret rooms in Gungeon, look. I, I see them like crawl spaces in Isaac. Sometimes they can be really good. Oftentimes, you know, don't shoot the messenger. I feel like the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. Oh, I'm getting a little hiccupy there. Um, so, what do we need? Let's set the stage. First floor, I mean, it went fine. I think we have a good infinite ammo uh, item. And uh, the end villain, completely capable of, uh, you know, killing bosses. Maybe add infinitum. We gotta beat bullet heck. In order to beat Bullet Heck, we're definitely gonna want to get as many flawlesses as possible. We could use a, as good of a room clearing item as the game feels content to give me. I feel like we've been playing pretty well in uh, in Gungeon lately, with the exception of you know dumb you know grocery list stuff like, "Honey, did you remember to bring the bullet that killed the past?" Oh my bad. That's on me. No, you know. I don't actually... Well, actually, now that I think about it... I guess Table Tech Sight uh, generating more bullets probably makes it pretty decent when given the opportunity, but... Dude, Table Tech Money is a dream come true. Table Tech Sight exists. Also learned something from watching Austin today. Don't uh, waste any bullets on the, the flying shells and stuff like that. When you could just let them kill themselves. It's not that I didn't realize that before. It's more that I didn't think it was worth it. And then I saw Austin and I, I felt vindicated. Like the final track in Spider-Man 2. You know what I'm talking about. Junk? Junk salesman. Table tech heat. I had a hunch, and that hunch was incorrect. Uh, I, you know, the table text is going to be hard to convince me, to be honest. I'm not in love with them. Also, that doesn't count as a table. How can something be flipped and yet also not be a table? I call shenanigans on that one. Hmm. Don't shoot the chest. I told you not to shoot the chest. Alright, I'm confident it's not in here. I think we're going to spend our money on keys. No matter what. Remember, you get a gun from the boss if you... Uh, if you decide not to open any chest that could give you guns before the boss. Or if you don't get a gun before the boss. Why uh, would that be good? Well, I guess we're buying into the idea that guns are, you know... Finding a good gun means more than finding a, a decent passive in most circumstances. Is that actually true? It depends on the way you play the game. To be honest, you know, if there's one thing I, I, I think I'm, I've grown at as a video game player, very noble of me, uh, I, I stand on the shoulders of giants, you know? I'm good at the games in my wheelhouse. Mostly Isaac. I think I'm, I'm performing, you know, adequately at Gungeon. Paradox makes it a little too easy, to be honest. It's hard to judge, but... Hoop! Um, you know, if, if your game 
is Gungeon, and you tell me X, I believe X. I'm, I'm liable to believe you. I don't try to reinvent the wheel all that often anymore. There was a time, perhaps, where, you know, hey, this person thinks this item is good. Well, actually, it was usually the opposite. Hey, this person thinks this item is bad. Wrong. It's actually... Well, not good. Let's not go crazy. But it's actually usable. I did shoot those guys. You know why? Because we had the table tech bonus. I thought it prudent. Now, I promise you that looked cooler than its effect was actually good. I don't want to jinx it either, dude, but we have, to the best of my knowledge, we've not been hit yet on this run. To not get hit in the first two floors, not necessarily worth that much. To not get hit when your second floor is the oubliette, feels pretty good. Shouldn't have shot those guys. SAA, by the way, not that ammo efficient, I'm realizing. So, the fact that we've gotten so many drops has been very helpful. A couple of people have been asking, uh, you know, you're going to go fight the old king? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on the list for sure. Uh, you know, if you've been watching the series for any length of time, you probably realize I like to knock things out. You know, when I, when I get focused on a task, I, I try to finish it. So, uh, right now, definitely... I want to I wanna make sure that we make more attempts at getting the Gunslinger. No guarantees. We might go for some, you know, pallet, clen pallet cleansing rat kills in the interim period. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's on the list, obviously. Okay, so we've been to every room. I know we did it once before in the, uh, like the first series of the game, but it would be good to do it again. The Anne villain is like the definition of a solid boss killer. And as soon as you say something is the definition of solid, you know it's actually probably one category up. Like it's probably darn good. That's how my scale goes. Unusable, too bad to use, too good to use, solid, pretty darn good, lights out, and then, oh dude. Oh dude is when you know like it's over. Like, I never feel with the Ant Villain that I'm killing the boss because of the Ant Villain, but that's probably actually the case. <laughs> Sometimes with a boss killer, you're like, you know, I killed this boss because I have this. With, with this weapon, I'm like, this is exactly good enough to do what needs to be done. So that's the JK-47. I've never been so disrespected in my life. Um, well, we're, we're going to have two keys. I think we should open both blue chests. And I don't know. I, you know how I feel about blanks. Like, if we don't find secret room access in one of the two item rooms, we're probably just going to use it, like, semi-randomly. Ain't nobody got time for that, etc., etc. Okay, Pitchfork, I think, is fine, which means this is going to be a blue passive or active. Uh, it's a ghost bullet. This is like, shoot through cover? Grants all bullets piercing. That's way better. That seems like an awesome synergy. Thank you. For now, uh, I'm going to keep using the SAA. So, yeah, we're looking for uh, a bullet hell victory. Bullet Hell Victory, I always set the stage in a very similar fashion, but, uh, you know, what specifically do we want to see? Flawlesses. Top right, by the way. This is your top right Twitch Prime room, presented by Jeffrey B. Hate it. Hate it. We're free. So the more, really the more HP we could have... I'm still definitely in that phase. I, I do feel like we beat the Lich by tanking it. I do dodge, but phase two in particular I, I, is just a lot of tanking for me. 
We're not gonna fight the rat in this one. There is a gun muncher, and you know, I'll be honest with you. We uh have some guns that could be munched. I mean the JK47 is like literally We we never want to use it, I think. I'm, the only thing I could think of is if we get the synergy uh with the AK-47 where we could dual wield, I might be in. But even if that happened, I don't think it would be like a, a top tier choice for any situation. So I think we can definitely afford to use some gun munching. Ooh, you're empty, huh? Straight up, robot's right hand, like totally fine. It's part of the reason the robot is fun is the uh, the starting weapon I think is pretty good good clip size obviously infinite ammo reloads pretty quickly can't complain as far as like I don't know it's it's one of those things that happens now and then and like oh piercing shots dude so good it happens in roguelites is like the better you get not that I'm like crushing it but ooh. we should gun force though <laughs> I I learned something from being in Austin's chat today why not gun force you know um, the, the better you get at a roguelite the harder it is to figure out what the heck you need it was way easier when I was bad at gungeon and I was just like I need the heroin to show up now that I can like actually handle at least the first couple of floors pretty easily by myself, I'm like, you know, we don't, I'm not too worried about it. So, and villain. For my money, this is the easiest boss on this floor, but I don't know. You may consider it otherwise. Who? Okay, uh, I got hit, which is deserved, but I also. How did that second shot come in? It was like there was no animation for it. I tried the blank, but like... Anyway. Mistakes were made. Is it too late to go back on the gun force so maybe you could drop like a heart locket? Starring Jeremy Renner. So wait, starring Jeremy Renner and Anthony Mackie. Two, uh... Not only two Marvel uh, actors, but also two Marvel actors whose superheroes have birds in their name. How interesting. Sir, this is an Arby's. Sorry. I did not mean to blow your mind. Should have called it the, the bird locker. Uh, I think Light Gun is pretty okay. I mean, I don't know why they would name the movie about roles the actors would maybe have later in a different movie franchise, but like, I'm just... In a hindsight, they really should have called it the bird locker. Not in foresight, that wouldn't have made any sense. Okay, so it is a pretty dumb damage. I, I did just walk uh, into the pit. In my defense, sometimes it looks like this character can fly. Wouldn't you say? I mean, you can see their feet from time to time, but they're, they got a weird spectral thing going on. It's like, uh, you know, when you see a Pidgey in Pokemon. It's always walking, but it has wings. If you threw it over a pit, I would expect it to fly. But I don't know, I'm not familiar with the Pidgey lore. Might be incorrect. I did play uh, Let's Go Pikachu on the stream today. And I was reminded of a couple of things. One, Pokemon's cool. Two, Pikachu's a cutie. Three, game's a little easy. Four, a uh, girl is plain to see. But you're the only... Wait, four is repeat steps one through three, you poser. Okay. We're gonna buy the key. We're gonna open the demon chest. What the heck is that? R2G2 gun mech robot. Okay, we'll look it up. Just give me a sec here. Yo, Monster Blood. I love it. Thanks for the HP. And then for guns. JK can go. 
Honestly, I actually don't think we want a gun much. I don't think I have anything else I want to munch. Secret room such a pain in the butt right now. Um, maybe up here? Alrighty. Alright, well, we go down here. Let me, let me pull the little alt tab. R2, G2. Summons a robotic companion when an enemy's in range and prioritizes following the target and periodically fires a rapid burst of six bullets at them. If you have a teapot or shock rifle, you get a synergy. It has a health bar too. Yo, it can jump over a pit too. Or fly over a pit. If R2G2 takes an extreme amount of damage, he will die and make the bulletkin death noise. The item will still be in the player's inventory, but will only come back if the item is dropped and picked up again. It's a little unusual, but, you know, good to know. If I didn't know, I would just be like, oh, he's dead. I can't do anything. Probably would have sold him to the junk salesman. So, floor three. Here's what I'm thinking. Try the light gun on for size. Oh, what a shot, dude. No harm, no foul. Hard to tell. Hard to tell because I took an extremely bad hit. I gotta say, seems pretty terrible, actually. I, I should have used it on the last floor so that I knew it wasn't uh, good enough to save from the muncher. Like, the duck seems okay, but... I don't know, man. I'm unimpressed. The SAA seems like way more uh, useful. But, yikes. On the bright side, we can use it like to save uh, SAA ammo. Stop taking so much damage. There's like, on every Gungeon run, there's like one floor where my brain just gives up. And it's like, this is the glycogen. Uh... Oh, dude, we did it. This is the glycogen replenishing uh, room. Brain's taking the floor off. Apparently, it's taking this floor off. I will say, I'm getting the... It, it's not lights out yet, but I'm getting a little better at gun evaluations, I think. I, and I'm thinking what I might be missing is that uh, perhaps with uh, the duck being summoned, it's a good boss killer. Any enemy with a bunch of HP will live through multiple ducks. And, and then it'll give you almost like a dead bird uh, damage over time factor. Yo. Cute as a button. Anyway. Pikachu, or let's go Pikachu. It was a fun time today. I had a good time. We're going back to it, obviously. I was also... Uh, oh, dude, is this the... Is this the rat? How did I see that? My brain was just immediately like... There was like a flash on the ground. My brain knew exactly where it was going here. Oh, now that we finished the hunt, shambling rounds are popping up uh, everywhere. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is... Uh, I forgot a lot of my my type weaknesses in that game. I always, I was like, it's Pokemon, it's rock, paper, scissors. Certainly not a, uh, a hard game. Or as Weezer would say off of the their best album, 1994's The Blue Album. Hard game, hard. Get you guys like do it. If you're not getting down with the blue album, then you're no friend of mine. But you know, I was facing like you know, bug type Pokemon, and I'm like, what the heck is strong against bug, dude? Spray, spray type Pokemon. I don't, I don't have a Squirtle yet. Yo! We actually made it work one time. Thank you for the HP. Winchester's pretty bad. But, uh... Can be used... In the gun muncher. Unfinished gun is also bad, right? Like, this is... I remember there was always, like, lore. In my head, I was always like, Dude, what's the secret to unfinished gun? Is there any way, like, you can make this actually good or is the joke that like the devs haven't finished it i was always like what if you get like 
get the unfinished gun. And, oh, table tech blank? Okay. Oh, table tech money, dude! I was like, get the unfinished gun and take it to the, the blacksmith. Maybe she'll finish it for you and it'll become the greatest gun mankind has ever seen. Well, that definitely is not the way it worked in the earlier versions of the game. Maybe they... Maybe they've uh, placated me here. I'm actually going to look it up. I still feel like I'm missing something there. Unfinished gun. Oh, it does pierce. Okay. Upon fully completing the Ammonomicon, unfinished gun is permanently upgraded into finished gun. Well, I don't know if we'll be finishing the Ammonomicon anytime soon. I, I'm pretty stoked to see... Uh, Uh, I'm pretty stoked to see a gun muncher, but we'll wait till the end of the floor, probably. That was really, really bad damage. Um, that was even... I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'll just level with you. We have HP, but shouldn't throw uh, good health after bad, you know? Let's cool off for a bit here. So table tech site plus table tech blank. You're making a convincing argument for me to flip over some tables. I know every gun is piercing, but I'm just like, I don't want to waste ammo in a half decent gun when I could be wasting it in a garbage gun. Might as well get some value out of this before we recycle it. Appreciate the blanks. We're not rich on anvil and ammo, so. Don't wake up. Excuse me. I don't know how I feel about R2 Gun 2 yet. Wait and see how I feel maybe on a boss fight or something. Dude, if we could freeze enemies, I think I would like it more. Let's put it that way. Ah, you idiot. Um, and villain. I mean, it gives us for everything, but and villain could probably focus on it the most. Okay, sling is good. Dude, mass cannon, mass shotgun, whatever it's called, is good. Um,. Let's heal up, because I'm bad. Oh, we still have more. I don't know. I I don't think we need anything else. Uh, I mean, we, we'd like to buy a key. It's a very key-rich environment. Or an environment, a lock-rich environment, I should say. Um, I think we could easily get rid of light gun. And, uh, well, really, like, the JK-47 is going to be the, the fastest one to get fed. And then, I think I would rather give up the unfinished gun. I know we're not gun munching. We're not gun munching anyway. Oh, we could have given up the Winchester. It's way worse, I think. Not that we're going to use, like, any of these again unless things go terribly wrong. The Makarov? I don't think it's anything special. Anyway, we lost gun munching when we opened up all those chests for free. Here's how you know you're screwed on a gun. Makarov. The entire description on the, uh, on the Gunopedia literally just says it's a gun. So, I, I, I don't think it's going to be like a big help for us. Cannon Balrog. Huzzah. Should be okay with three blanks. Should be a genuine flawless opportunity. I still think, you know, you might be looking at it and going like, hey, use the pitchfork. I don't think it's a bad choice. But I think DPS-wise, we're still better off here. Now, if you're a true legendary Gungeon player, I don't know, maybe you Pitchfork until he's on fire, get the damage over time, switch it up, go to the and villain. That sort of thing isn't my bag, baby. Truth be told, I'm not mad about gun munching. I think, you know, for where we're at in the game, it's adequate. Just to be safe. Um... 
I would like a great gun, but short of that, I mean, we could use an active too, like a re like a reusable blank or something. I'm not convinced we can beat the bullet hell on this one right now, but I'm obviously hoping we're gonna get there. Yo, Scrambler is a great gun. How's that for a money roll, Dan? And it synergizes maybe with light gun. Give it a sec. Yeah, egg murderer. <laughs> All right, so we have a key. Um, and for real, I mean, we're gonna obviously, you know, we're gonna buy one. I think we should play the game. If I get two targets or better, I think we, uh, it was worth it. Yo, but this is the hardest layout I've ever seen, dude. Like, this is absurd. Okay, we're gonna try for the middle one right now. Okay, well, I mean, this is, it's easy. Then I'm thinking, maybe top is next easiest? Depends on Oh, please. Thank God. At least we got two. Green chest, that's basically... You know, I, I can't complain. And combined rifle, I think, is actually pretty good. Can't complain. 500 ammo. We'll open another green chest. Magic bullets. Grants all bullets a chance to transmogrify. Uh, that's really good. Um, or, I mean, in principle, at least, seems really good. So that's the same effect as, like, Witch Pistol. Junkin'? No. Uh, where it can turn... Back time, love. Would a tale my thoughts would tell. It's like an old time movie, like a scene from a wishing. You got do these Gungeon episodes are long. You got to do something to entertain yourself, and then you go three, two, one, go. I don't know where we went wrong, but the feeling's gone, and I just can't get it. You know, you, you ever listen to the radio? Probably not. Depends when you were born, I imagine. So our bullets. Run the chance to turn enemies into birds. That's pretty good. Now, will we... You might be saying, where's the, the scrambler? You know, let's let's check out this cool scrambler sort of situation you got going on here. Well, I got nothing against the scrambler. But, yo, that's so huge. It's more of a boss killer sort of situation, I think. I think we're also at the point, like, three flawlesses. I, I'm probably forgetting to flip a bunch of tables, too. Not three flawlesses. I, I counted Blobby Lord. Two flawlesses is, like, I would describe it as an adequate performance for bullet hell HP standards. Like, obviously, I would love to get a little stronger. And get a little tankier. But, like, if we can, awesome. If we can't, them's the brakes. Like, this is enough to not feel like we're super encumbered. I gotta say, combined rifle. Maybe you think I've been a little too negative towards some of these guns so far. Combined rifle seems uh, fine. I know this room. It's like a demon room? Curse, curse nonsense? You give me curse. I don't I don't know what this does. It also seems like the right way to use combined Oh, maybe not. I thought I had mastered the strategy of just shooting combined rifle once and then reloading. It does take 10 ammo to shoot that uh the ball, so Dude, honestly, I probably feel pretty good about getting double vision. Mostly because it gives me another chance to use my Moon Knight's voice from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Fill your eyes with double vision, Fry Man. 
I don't remember the rest, but it's there. It's there somewhere. So yeah, I think, you know, I would grade my play at above a B grade right now. I think we've done enough to give ourselves a chance here. Take it, you know, ruin the flawless on the second floor. I, you know, you could bet the house on me ruining one of the first three flawlesses. We don't often uh, play flawlessly. Even against enemies that we, we probably should play flawlessly against. This damage, this is these are nickels and dimes, you know, yours and mine. I'm not too concerned. Alright. Um I still I need to look up what the dang old demon room does. And we got the scrambler for the boss, which should be uh better than good okay hey could you not shoot the chest my dude Ooh, uh full health room i actually i got excited briefly because i thought it was a synergy room but full health is uh you know it's always nice to see i'm also hoping against hope maybe we get some ammo because uh, the combined rifle seems good, uh, like a half a room clear, or half of a floor clear per uh, per maximum ammo. I mean, I know this is a D tier gun because I just saw it on the wiki, but let's let's give the Makarov a chance, you know. Even the sound is just like. Just, it's on inspiring, and I will not abide. That being said, I am going to use it for the time being. <laughs> Just to, you never know, dude. You might you might end up in a situation where you want to save your ammo for something a little bit more uh, useful. Play, great secret room finder, I guess. Okay, so two blue chests. Uh, wouldn't mind a gun force. First off, it's just, it sounds like a name of a great 1980s video game. The dude who was the junior level designer on Contra gets fired from Konami. Goes out to the bar with his friends, and his friends are like, Dude, don't sweat it now, you can finally make Gun Force just like you wanted. It. It's exactly like Contra, but, but worse. Um, okay. Give me the Scrambler. I want to see how this goes. Kill pillars. Should have looked up the synergy before. This doesn't seem that great. I'm not trying to use the Winchester just for the record. I just want to see what's happening with the ducks here, okay? I'm testing duck theory. Thinking if there's a lot of ducks on the screen, who knows? I mean, it's, it's working out pretty well. We are consistently shooting the strongest living enemy, which is very stupid, obviously. Like, legitimately, the anvil is still... Number one boss killer right now. Who would have thought? I mean, a scrambler... Wouldn't say bad, just unimpressive. I threw the gun. I opened up my eyes. I threw the gun. That was real scary. Lost my flawless nearly. That was a real flaming lips note there. Nearly. Yo, I know this gun. Is that Barrett's hand cannon? Dun da 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 ya da da. Machine Fist. It is, dude. Avalanche of Bullets. You think you can sneak a Final Fantasy VII reference past me? So we got two keys. We got... Well, we have three keys now. Uh, the more... Wait, no. Cartographer's Ring is different. I thought this was the more guns you have, uh, the more damage each one of them does. That's Unity. Bundle of Wands. 
Uh, synergizes with Mogrifying Bullets? Yeah. Chicken Arise! <laughs> it's another, uh... It's another... Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference. Okay, so there's the Junk Salesman, but he's not... You know, I'm not about that lifestyle. Um, we're gonna buy a key. Are we gonna buy a Double Vision? Probably, but let me quickly... I wanna be smart about this uh, Demon Room Gungeon. Demon Face Room. Oh, that's right. You have to be cursed or hold more than 100 casings and you can get inside and, and do some stuff. Okay. So it's, it's kind of like a black market then, right? Yo. What's that ammo lit? Oh, gold ammo lit. Cursed bullets, very interesting. I mean, the A key 47 is so good, I just literally can't afford it. But uh, for a key, I will definitely get Mimic Tooth Necklace. That's a huge get. Sucks that I spent our other keys here, but that's on me. All right, yeah, let's do it, dude. I'll, I'll, we'll still buy Double Vision after this, too. All right, so this is a way safer chance. In fact, with Piercing Shots, I wonder if we could have gotten too easily there. Uh, okay, um... Good. Oh my god, he's an actual uh, brain genius. He's a brain genius. Okay, so this is like gold chest level. Wow, you got them all. Claim your prize. It's a demonic chest. Composite gun. For hunting Terry's. You think you can sneak any reference by me? Though, a potion of gun friendship, I think it may actually be better than double vision. Let me look it up. Potion of gun friendship. Temporary plus one the gun. Increases combat damage by 30%, doubles fire rate. Multiplies knockback, decreases reload times by 70%. Okay, well, I mean, like, that's... Dude, this is beautiful carnival. It's gonna help me out more than you could ever imagine. Plus, we still have secret room access. Not that we know where it is. We scared the chicken, I'm sorry. This, it wasn't in my purview to do that. It's unnecessary. Yeah, okay. Hello, Junk Salesman. Uh, so, like, this run has been sorted. Obviously, as the paradox, you never know. But I think we got a great chance to destroy Lich. Some cool uh, synergies here. And, uh, you know, just an, another run that illustrates, you know, there's more than one way to win a Gungeon run. This game's really coming along. I mean, came along, I guess, because it's, like, over now. But, like, ah, oh, crap. Close. Despite not getting what I would describe as, like, your traditional one Gungeon setup, we did get a... a an, a boss killer that I criminally underrated for sure, but um Oh, hello friend I don't know uh, what I did there, but it was bad The spider is not uh, necessarily having like a uh, oh Lots of ammo, you know easy obvious room killing uh, preferences, etc, etc I still think, like, you know, we came together and made this run, uh, made this run work, and, you know, that's... It's nice in any roguelike, when you can take a, a not-guaranteed win and make it tick, but it's particularly nice in Gungeon. Why? Uh, because it's the roguelite that I'm playing as we speak, so... I mean, it would be nice if it happened in other games too, but I'm not playing those games right now, so obviously I have an innate bias towards the game I'm playing as we speak. By the way, um... Right. I talk to you next time. That's my mistake. We do have to watch our HP, because, you know, we gotta go through the whole next floor. 
Rad Gun is great, uh, but it's also... And I, I feel the same way about Rad Gun that I used to feel about Chocolate Milk and Isaac. You know, before they, uh, in, in Rebirth, they made it a little bit better from a quality of life standpoint to use. Um, I think at least, or maybe I just got stronger. Uh, great item, pain in the butt to use. So, like, for my own sanity, I don't feel like we, uh, are critically tied to the, to the rad gun. But it's definitely, like, I'm not ignoring it because it's bad. Just the active time reload is a, is a pain in the butt. So, we should honestly take Anvil in ammo. Uh, maybe Composite Gun is better. Hmm. And we should probably, you know, check out Machine Fist and, you know... I mean, we've done a better job, and I'm, now that I realize uh, ammo is... Well, I mean, it's not really that ammo is not scarce, but, like... It, I, I'm realizing half the value of having fun in Gungeon is, is using multiple uh, weapons that you actually receive. It's way easier for me to justify using them now. Okay, uh, hey Brain. Kinda dropping the ball on this room, specifically. Ah, that's right, the final shot of Machine Fist is a little bit of a boost. Okay, I don't mind uh, leaving to, uh, actually I do. I was gonna say I don't mind leaving to fight the Dragon, uh, but I wanna make sure our HP's in a better spot and we're not doing a very good job of keeping that going. Um, right now and moreover uh, with mimic tooth necklace we would you know there's, there's just not a great reason to not uh, shouldn't be reloading as much either but there's not a great reason to not uh, get all the chests right now Let's take some combined rifle ammo I don't think we will use the com well, maybe we'll use the combined rifle on the next floor is it decidedly like not bad Stop reloading your gun, dude. Or maybe actually, hold on, is this one of the ones you want to reload all the time? It is one of the ones you want to reload all the time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so I got completely mind flooded by the fact that he didn't die in a single hit. More power to you, dude. This is, uh... You know, I said on every run, there's usually one floor where I kind of, like, totally brick it up. Let's say on this floor, so, or on this run so far, there's been two such floors. Hello, my Mimic friend. I actually feel like Rocket Launcher... kinda sucks... with our, uh, piercing shot. Cold 45. Um, so we will keep exploring. We do have to be very careful. Um, and I hate that I put us in this position. Like, don't be a dummy. I almost use some stronger language. Just to use a good gun. Yo. <laughs> Please. Just to use a good gun. Because, like, the HP you have right now is the same HP you gotta take with you to bullet heck. So, composite gun, you, you crushed it. You did a great job. We got a golden casing and some HP out of it. That's worth a lot. I'm gonna take ammo for composite gun. That's how much it impressed, uh, impressed me. Sorry, I watched the hunt, from, the hunt for Red October recently. That's how much it impressed me. The Hunt for Red October is very brazen to me. They do a, a really cool shot about, uh... 20% of the way into the movie. Sean Connery and Sam Neill have been speaking Russian for the whole movie. Uh, and they like zoom in on a dude's face when they're talking Russian with subtitles. And then they zoom out and they're speaking English. And I was always like, it's, I, I get it. They're like, hey, look, the actors, they learned a little bit of Russian for the role. But like, you know, we get it. It's a mass market movie. You don't necessarily want to read subtitles. But the best part is Sean Connery has 
and you know, always has had a thick Scottish accent. <laughs> so he pops out, and you're like, wait a minute. Now, I don't know if he's speaking Russian with the Scottish accent. I assume he is, but... They didn't care back in the day. If you can get Sean Connery for your movie, you just deal with the anachronisms in the, in the accents uh, later. That's my bad. I obviously shouldn't have been hit there, but... Um, like, in... In Highlander 2... Sean Connery plays like a man from Spain, but he talks like Sean Connery. And you're like, you know, it's not that it's not possible for a man from Spain to have a Scottish accent, but it is like, let me put it this way. There's no point at all in the movie in which they go, hey, if you're from Spain, why do you sound Scottish? And he goes, well, my mother's from Scotland. You know, it doesn't happen. We got a synergy regardless. But obviously, pretty good. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'll I'll check. Makarov, hip holster. Was it? Uh, maybe it's with the SAA. Coolness is increased by two, dude. That's a great synergy. I think we fight the boss first, then we come back. Any synergy that increases drop rate without you even requiring, like, to hold the item? Positive in my book. Okay, so we're gonna go Composite Gun, Potion of Gun Friendship. It's fairly important to me that we flawless this. So I, you know, don't love using all the blanks super early, but I had a feeling we would have been hit there. I got hit. God! It's not the end of the world, okay? But it does stink pretty bad. We probably won't find ourselves being in too bad a shape here, but, you know, it just puts us in a tougher spot on bullet hell specifically. The frustrating part is that if I de if I worried more about positioning, I didn't have to use my blanks. I I kind of spaced out on this fight for sure. He's about to switch, so I'm not too concerned about phases. I'm not good with phases, Doctor Evil. Look it up, sweetheart. Um, I'm hoping as well, like with our coolness stat being so so freaking cool, we'll get some HP drops. Also good news, not that it's uh, in question, but like, we uh, should be able to open any chest we get on bullet hell. But I don't know, man, like we will buy HP to leave this floor, but it's going to be a little touchy. I guess the anvil is sort of starting to show some wear and tear. Like, the composite gun was great, don't get me wrong. I think we've got a, a suite of weapons that could work for us. I just, you know... Wouldn't mind getting a little something extra. Dude, R2 gun too. Hanging out, you're getting the flanking shot. With the plus crit bonus. Okay, I mean, thanks for the casing. I mean, that's sincerely. Thanks for the casing. And, uh, you know, rocket, rocket power bullets? I don't think so, brother. Uh, we don't have the money. I, I'm looking at it like we have the money. We don't have the money. Um, opened all the chests. We do have a key, but he wasn't selling anything, I think, that was that appealing. Uh, appealing for me. Um,. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna try using the scrambler as a, a room clearer, honestly. I wanna make sure we're giving it a fair shake here. It didn't get much of a chance against the boss. If, we, if we're low on boss killers for the Lich, then something has gone wrong, because probably our first ammo drop is gonna go to the composite gun, so. 
I assume each phase of the Lich has less HP than... Uh... Yo, this is so helpful. Has less HP than... Uh... The, the drag gun. So, I'm assuming one clip of the comp is a gun will do a decent job. Dude. My Eggman. And my uh, drone. They're doing a sick job. Eggman and the drone coming to the USA Network this fall. Oh, you know why? Because when your gun runs out of ammo, you get another shot. I was wondering. I was like, why am I getting two shots? It's very helpful. I was just surprised is all. No, we don't need gun friendship on this room. Not a walk in the park. We do want to go down. No, we don't want to go. We do want to go up. The less rooms, the merrier. This is a decent setup. Rooms, not a problem. Oh, come on. That's one where you just got to be like, come on, brain. Get the old, get the gears pumping. See, that's, oh, and then you rolled right into him. I wouldn't pull out the you're doing great, sweetheart. Keep it up. We're proud of you. Quite yet, but... It, this one's gonna come down to the wire. Definitely the least, like, guaranteed glitch kill we've had, I think. 3 HP? That's pretty low, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff! Still got 82 bullets left in this thing. I don't think this is the problem. Like, I don't think the scrambler is the issue, is what I mean. I, I don't know if, if anybody out here is in the same boat. I don't even see the bullets until they've already hit me. If they bounce off a wall, my brain actually, like, scrubs them from the record. That full health room wasn't on the forge, right? That was on the fourth floor? Because if that was on the forge, then... I mean, it's another, it's a mistake, it's forgivable, but it's a bad one. Okay, the most important thing right now, you know, we're not refactoring our play over the course of the game. It's, it's unrealistic. Um, all we can do is, is go in with high confidence. We're not that far away from the boss. Some desperate times call for desperate measures, brother. We we now need HP drops. This is is gone off the rails completely. It's falling apart. You know, let me just say, thank God we bought HP in the first place. Yo, a chest. It's gonna be a mimic because we have mimic tooth necklace. At least we can get hit like that. That would have. I would have never forgiven myself for that one. Okay, oh, I thought the items fell in the drink, but it's wouldn't have been a big loss, honestly. I beg you, friend. Are you holding a red... <gasps> Are you holding a red heart inside of you? Okay, probably the smartest blank I've ever used in my life, but would have been nicer to not have to use it, but... Okay, so now we're going in with no HP, no blanks. And that's, uh, that's where things get concerning. <laughs> I, uh... Look, don't plan the victory just yet. Yeah, it's for that exact reason. It fell apart all at the end. That hurts. Um, I really...
I can't blame anybody, anybody but myself for that terrible play on bullet hell, but it is what it is. For now, thanks for watching. I'll be back next time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.